So this is something that I hate when it happens. Okay. So I was in line at a grocery store. And I was getting this beer that we're drinking. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about that yeah. in a little bit. I was like third in line, whatever. And then I get, I'm standing in line. I know a person behind me, someone I kind of know. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's someone that like Izzy used to work with. And like, I've been friendly with her before. So I, I'm like, oh, hey. And then we start talking and then we're just there. And we don't know each other that well. Like, we're not friends. See, it's wild that you broke the ice. Because I would just look at them and... <laughs> it's that I looked at them and then they saw me. I was like, oh! And, like, we had to start talking. And, like, we've never talked about our, like, day-to-day lives. So, it's like, how's life been? And then I, like, say, like, what I've been up to. And they're like, all right. And I then did, that's I, it. I have nothing about that. But then, like, the line's still just there. So, it's just her and I looking at each other just like, I don't know. Well, you could just turn your back. You're in front of her. <laughs> that still seems weird. Yeah. <laughs> You just all of a sudden turn around. So it's like we had to force conversation because I started this <laughs> until I could actually go to the line. And then I left immediately. Yeah, nice, dude. And it also turns out we went the exact same way. Fuck. So you were just yep. stuck together. Yeah. I mean, she, well, she's five feet behind me and I was just aware of it. God, that sounds like some, something I would do, but I wouldn't initiate. Sure. Yeah. It would just happen to you. <laughs> No, or we would just, I'd like turn around and be like, yeah. oh, I know you. We'd like look that they, I would see their face like, mm-hmm. oh, I know you. And then I would just turn back around. Oh, sure. So then I, and then I would just like, like my body would freeze. Cause I love passing someone on the street and you say like a few blurbs and then you continue yeah, walking. You just go, that's what's great. up? Yeah. What are you up to? Oh, I'm going to this. Like, that sounds great. And then you, and keep, then you keep going. Cause it's you great. have a way to, yeah, to not, get out. Like you can stop, but you never like even fully commit I mean, I to went conversation. To a, I went to a counter last night, which yeah. we'll get to later in the episode. So stay tuned for that. But literally I was standing in, in the f- f- sea of people. Yeah. And we're looking at the stage and there's this guy like five feet in front of me. Mm-hmm. And at first I like see his back and I'm like, I know a guy that wears a beanie. Like I like, I notice him and then he like turns around a few times and I'm like, Oh, I know who that is. It's a yeah. bass player for like another band from oh, Waterloo. Cool. Yeah. And like, I've, I've known him for a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm not like good friends with him, but yeah. I'm friends with him on all social media. Right. I'm aware of him. He's aware of me. Yeah. He looks at me a few times, but we never interacted. Cause you have nothing to say. Yeah. Cause I don't know. I don't want to be like, Oh, Hey, what's up? <laughs> and then just be like awkward. So then it was just quiet. Yeah. Like we just, and then I like the person I was with, I was like, I think that's so, and they're like, 100% it is. Oh, sure. <laughs> like, they knew who it was, too. And I was like, uh, okay, well, we just won't say anything ever. <laughs> and then I saw, like, on his Snapchat story, because we were Snapchat that friends, there. that he was there. And I was like, uh, I'm just not good at, I mean, also, I told like, many stories. It's like, so nice just not interacting and just being aware of somebody. Like, all right, that's that. Yeah, just be like, cool. But we didn't even head nod. Like, we didn't oh, even notice. Sure, but you definitely both saw each but other. But we definitely both knew we were there. <laughs> and, like, he was like, that's how awkward I am. But we know you're there, and this is the Moist Monday podcast. Yes. So if you see me on the street, don't. Or start a conversation. Just see what happens. Oh, man. You won't like it. I've been in so many situations where I still fucking, we'll play the intro in a little bit, but I still fucking <laughs> am upset about that grocery store story. That you didn't talk to that girl? Yeah. yeah. It still pisses me off. Have you been dude. to that grocery store often since? A few times. But like. Ever since then, I shaved my beard. Well, that's true. So I don't look as good. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting there. It's I'm getting, growing. It's growing back. You know, it's I a the, lot better. It's a lot better. It's well, a, I got the scrub. Like, I don't like how I look clean shaven. Yeah. My I, double chin is, chin is more hidden now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is nice because I definitely had one. Um, it's, but like, I still think about that. I'm like, God, that could have been my moment. It sure could have. And then I just flushed it away. <laughs> but hopefully you don't flush this Monday away. This is the Moist Monday podcast. Hopefully you're having a fantastic middle of the May, middle of the middle of May. There we go. There we go. Let's get into it. And we're back. Welcome to the Winston Monday Podcast. My name is Robert. I'm Jacob. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. I feel like it's been a while, dude. I haven't seen you in like almost two weeks. Been a while. Hey, yeah. That's foreshadowing. Oh, shit, it is. <laughs> that's right, foreshadowing. Yeah. I saw the band that saw that. <laughs> we'll talk about that later in the podcast. But it, it's wild for the listeners. You're like, oh, we see these, uh, listen to you guys every Monday, every, yeah. every Monday. But no, I haven't seen Jacob in like almost two weeks. Yeah, which is weird for us because usually we record every Monday. Every Monday yeah. and then sometimes days in between, but it's been like so long. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not even recording on a Monday, spoiler alert for yeah, people. It's a frisky Friday today. It's a frisky Friday Cheers, and we're bud. getting frisky. We're drinking a uh, Sierra Nevada yeah. Big Little Thing Imperial IPA. It comes in at 9.0%. I've never seen this 
purplish can before. But I it's Sierra fine. Nevada is fine. It's fine. It's they're nothing like, special. Kind but of it's... like a like they're... a gas station beer. Yeah, they're bigger though. Yeah, they're they're decently big. Yeah, I got these because they are made not far from where I was staying. I was staying in Asheville, North Carolina this past week. Asheville. Country. But the weird thing is the Sierra Nevada mountains are not in Asheville. Yeah, I wonder why they're called Sierra Nevada. Oh, they're also from California, so maybe that's why. So they're from California and North Carolina. Oh. Oh, so that's that's it's weird. literally list both on the bottom of the can. That's I don't so they're a big enough brewery. But that's that's weird. Yeah, why would you have those two spots? Yeah. To, I don't know. From like where you're from. Yeah. Yeah. What the that's so weird. Because like fucking cores like and and all that stuff is from yeah. Colorado. Yeah. And you know it's from it's from Boulder, Colorado. Yep. And so all of cores is like cores light, cores banquet, cores yeah. everything. It's from one spot, it, yeah. It, it's weird when there's multiple because it's like <laughs> So is the California one better or is this one better? And which one is this? Yeah. Weird. Well, I'm excited to hear about your trip. You just got back. You went to Asheville. North which, Carolina. When, which when you first told me, I was like, oh, Nashville. That's yep. where my brother what lives. Everyone said. And you go, no, Asheville. Yeah. What the fuck is Asheville? It's like a pretty big destination. I think it's like, I heard it's one of the biggest um, like bachelorette party destination. Oh, which so there's is a weird. lot of women there. There was, yeah. Oh, was there really? Yeah, there was a lot of bachelorette <laughs> parties that you saw. Damn. It was weird. Well, no, it's a wild, no joke, a few days ago, mm-hmm. uh, like on my Instagram feed, I follow like somebody and they were like, I'm getting ready to go on a trip. Let me know on good places to visit in Asheville. Yeah, see? And I was like, what the fuck? It's a spot. I just learned about Asheville because Jacob's <laughs> there right now and somebody's going there on a trip. It was fun. What I, the fuck? I've never I heard of this I highly recommend place. it. North Carolina? I mean, North Carolina is beautiful. <laughs> it was, yeah. We were like right outside the Blue Ridge Mountains. It was Ooh, great. Ooh, nice, dude. Yeah, but before we actually went on the trip, I spent the night originally, or before the trip, I spent the night at my parents' house because me and my sister flew out together. Oh, and oh our, you flew there? Okay. Yeah, and our flight was at like 6 a.m. So, so your parents had, took you? Yeah, at like 4 a.m. But it was nice because I got to see my niece and nephew who are great because yep. they're four and two now. So they just spent the, the couple days with your parents? Um, I think partially and then also with their dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. I forgot. I forgot <laughs> they have a dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's wild because uh, my nephew is very much in the dinosaur phase and my niece is really into it, too. And she, Oh, the dinosaur phase. They're really fucking smart about it. They how, saying, old is your, how old is he now? A he's year? two. Oh, he's two. Okay. And she's four. Damn it. They know the names of dinosaurs I've never heard of. And dinosaur names are hard. Like Brachocephalosaurus and like... And they're able to say it? And they're able to... Like, he can only say certain words, but he can say that. Like, or, like he can say a lot of words, but, like, his sentences aren't put together. But, but he, he can gets say the fucking... Brachocephalosaurus? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, he'll, like... I'll pick up a toy and he'll be able to tell me... Like, I'm not saying just, like, T-Rex or, like, Raptor. It's, like, all of them. And Damn. they both know all the of them. Lap- it's weird. L- Velaptus Velociraptor Velociraptor <laughs> See I'm an idiot yeah, yeah. I went through a dinosaur phase though Dinosaurs were dope as fuck But like w- The dinosaur phase we went through Is nothing compared to these kids It's weird how much they know So have they seen Jurassic Park yet? Um They watched the ride Cause that's kind of a scary movie. Yeah I don't think they've done that um, When I was there They were watching this video of Toys Playing But like it was like a story of toys But it got so intense The story like, there was like dinosaurs, dinosaur yeah, toys. Yeah, like they were like hanging out, and then like there was like mind control, and then one of them got their head ripped off, and what it turns the? out it was a robot. And then my niece started crying, and then the robot it was stabbed. Like a YouTube video. Yeah, and the robot stabbed a mom. It was Holy fucking wild. Shit. And like That's so my worse than Jurassic Park. yeah, my niece is crying, and it was very well made, but it was definitely just all like action figure toys. Yeah, <laughs> so it was like was it like stop motiony? Yeah, kind oh, of. Okay. But it was a lot of just like him moving it. it just but it looked fantastic. Oh my god. Yeah. It's like small soldiers. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> but that was really funny. And also, my niece, she's the sweetest thing, but she is so much just built up anxiety already. And it's all oh, like in four. a compact little body. And it's really funny how it comes out. So yeah, like, that sucks though that she already has it. It's about funny things though. So like we recently had like a bunch of like tornadoes and stuff here. Yeah, we've and, like, been having bad crazy weather. storms, yeah. And like, so when that was happening and my sister is very honest with her children, so she it's asked, good and bad. Yeah. she asked like, you know, what is a tornado? And my sister was like, well, you know, it's strong winds. And she's like, does it get bad? And like, sometimes it can, but like, we're okay. And like, she kind of explained it and then they hung out. And then like an hour later, my niece just goes, <sighs> I sure I'm gonna miss this house. Oh like, my she's, god! She's so, she was like so fucking st- catastrophizing. Yeah. But like, it, like she's oh already, my god. and like already like she's accepted it. And then F- she four. And she reaches over and like grabs my nephew's like thigh and she squeezes and she's like, goes, "Oh, buddy." <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's taking this all like on herself. Oh my god! Yeah, and then <laughs> the other day. 
Hopefully, hopefully she goes through her anxiety phase and then it she and it's gone. Mellows out. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Yikes. She like goes to my sister and she's just like, so and they talk, they call my parents Grain and Papa. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just one point just goes like, Grain says I'm going to die. What? <laughs> and my sister's like, she did. And then my niece's just, yeah, and then she starts crying about it. Oh my god! Because no turned, way did she say that. No, so she did. Because my mom is also very honest with her about all things. But it was what well, the conversation was is like they were playing the like you step on a crack and you break your mom's back. Okay, and it's a fun joke that like my sister yeah, and it. her daughter do, where like my sister pretends like her back hurts, and then she'll do it around her grand like my mom and my mom's mom is dead, and that was just the conversation. And the conversation was like, "Well, will I die?" And she's like. Well, someday, yes, we all do. So, and like she's four, she can handle this shit. She's seen Lion King. Yeah, we're not but Jurassic like, Park. Yeah, well, Jurassic Park is still very different. But like, and then she just takes these things and she remembers them, and she'll she remembers so much shit. Well, yeah, kids remember shit. It's wild. I remember well because my brother is yeah. 10 years younger than me yeah. and he'll bring up stories of shit that I did in high school. He'll bring up when, stories of me about shit I yeah, did. Yeah. Of shit we did in high school when he was like 6, 7, and 8 because yeah. we were 16, 17, and 18 yeah. and I'm just like what the fuck? <laughs> and he's like, get that. And he's like, yeah dude, I remember this was so fucked up and I was like, don't remember that. Because <laughs> I don't. Yeah. You're making me seem like a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. and, and he goes, no, it's funny and I go, not the way you're telling it. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> don't tell that story <laughs> that way. Don't ever fucking forget it. Yeah. Please. I'm like cool I, now I think <laughs> But it is wild that kids like Can take that And, they embody and that's, it, yeah. But like you gotta be honest at least on some things well, no, they're Especially honest. like for, for tornadoes and storms and shit Yeah they're honest about most things I think the kids are better for it. The kids are re- and they're like really fun to hang out with Like it's weird they're having like they're cool kids Yeah but it's weird that they're having anxiety Like that's yeah. scary like, <laughs> She just like saw like a bird wing once in the yard Cause like a hawk got her or something And my sister said a day later she's just staring out the window And she's like what's wrong sweetheart She's like just missed that bird and she's like, you never oh met that like, you never just, knew that yeah, bird she's just still thinking about it so I wonder if ah, that's wild she just embodies this shit she's just really taking it on but she's also, gonna be so corrupt but when you see this kid it's kind of like a you've been here before like when you look into this kid's eyes which by the way she has Steve Buscemi's eyes sometimes it's not great <laughs> Like, it's a little It's a four year old girl With Steve Buscemi's and eyes And it's like Long blonde hair And it's like thin And she's just She's God, pale and I she's, love Steve Buscemi and she's always but, tired And she doesn't tip waitresses yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what His character does In Reservoir Dogs mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how the movie starts <laughs> No she's got Little Buscemi eyes She's the best though I love that kid And I'm at the point Where now Like if I come over It's a uh, They yell They all call me Debu Yeah and like, so it's, they yell Debu and they run up and hug me. It's all I've ever wanted. And like, <sighs> that's so fucking cool. Yeah. But she was also like one time, like asking about my tattoos. Cause also, um, me and my siblings all got a matching tattoo on yes, this trip, which we'll get to. Yeah. Yeah. But then like, she'll be like curious about it and like that. And then she'll start crying and she's like, I don't want a tattoo. I'm like, you, it's okay. You don't have to get you don't one. Have to get it. <laughs> like it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, she embodies so much shit. She just. Freaked out immediately so quick. Yeah. Well, it's also when you're that young, you just don't know it. So you're learning things, and you're like, uh, needles. Like everything is like forever. Everything too, yeah. and everything's so scary. Yeah. Which I mean, it can be. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's scary shit out there, but also she's a scary fucking kid too. <laughs> Steve Buscemi's eyes. Yeah. Dude, speaking of tattoos, on my drive over here, I was thinking about this. Hasn't happened in a long time, but if you ever like talk to somebody about like getting tattoos, and they go, "Oh, I would never get a tattoo because." You would never put a sticker on a Ferrari. Has, has anybody ever said that to you? I've heard the idea of that. Like that's the stupidest fucking yeah, argument. You're not a Ferrari, yeah, and that's okay. A hundred. The people that say that your body's not a Ferrari. Yeah. You're like, actually, a sticker would look better on you. Yeah, I'm like a '97 Ford Taurus. Or and, like whatever. Yeah, and honestly, if you have a Ferrari, you probably have a custom paint job. That's fair. And the paint job is custom to you, and it looks great. But my thing is, I I have a lot of tattoos. I like. Stickers and stuff. I hate bumper stickers. Oh, especially when there's a ton of them. I hate, I saw a ton of them today. I hate bumper stickers and I hate welcome mats. Yeah. I don't know why, but well, I cannot say it either. You're a cynical old man. But only about bumper very stickers. Specific stri- things. If you have one, it I don't mind it because I can read it. But I saw like no joke like two or three times today. Yeah. Different cars where they had like eight of them. I just I don't and know. I was just like, dude, I can't even read these. I don't know why those and welcome mats. And there's no reason for it. I just feel like. 
You think you're better than me. I don't know I don't why. Think the, I, I, think, that I think it's a separate. I think welcome mats are a separate thing from bumper stickers. Like they're two both. different types of people. Like why are you talking to me when I'm not even what looking you at you? To, you? Oh, it's because you don't want yeah, nonverbal to me it's, it's communication. Com- to me, it is communication and it's unwelcome. <laughs> It's I don't care if it's a welcome mat. Yeah. It's unwelcome communication. Yeah, like you're putting your ideas on the back. I have to drive behind you and still know what you think about shit. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. We gotta know. We you got- think you got that much going around that just the people behind you in traffic should know your thought process. Yeah, we got. Oh, my other car is a TARDIS. Go fuck yourself. TARDIS isn't a car to begin yeah. with. And then also, oh, you're voting for Donald Trump. We yeah, get that's it. another thing. Like Jesus. <laughs> Or like a bunch of I've seen a bunch of trucks have like the fuck it sign where it's like a stick yeah. figure fucking it. Yeah, like stop. And it's just like that's aggressive yeah. as hell, dude. Well, like I don't know, need to know how many kids you have. Oh, like the little stick figure uh-huh. family. Go, yeah. See, that's different than bumper stickers. I don't, I don't uh, mind that. That's like everything. Like a minivan. You don't like any of that shit. I don't need to know what you got going on. What about on? like custom license plates? Do you like that? Yeah, I have that. I like a custom See, now license that's plate. That's where you draw the line. Because <laughs> you need to have a license plate, so have a fun one. I'm, I do like seeing fun ones because I send my photos. My yeah. I send photos of them to my sister. Yeah, your sister always posts. She, them, yeah. she she loves looking at just like weird sayings or words on license plates. Oh, I saw a good one today. Oh, it was just corn nuts. <laughs> corn? Maybe, I love that. <laughs> do they love corn nuts? I, I don't know, or they just identify as one. Yeah, they're just this is corn nuts. Corn, corn nuts, nuts are. Have you ever had one? Yeah, they're horrible. My boss they're loves just, them. They smell weird and too, and they're like not, dense. They're not good. No, because. They like, suck to eat. It's like eating popcorn kernels. Yeah. Just but like <laughs> worse. Cause yeah. I do like popcorn kernels. Oh, you don't No, Just kernels. No, no. Like if you have a bag of popcorn yeah, and then like you're eating it and then there's a few kernels, I'll like put it in. You eat the entire bag. No, I don't eat all of them. Oh, okay. Just sometimes I'll be like, Oh, let me try this kernel. Cause it's covered in butter. So I'll suck on it. And then I like biting it. What happens? Nothing. It's just crunchy. Oh, I mean, it's hard to bite through. Okay, no, I've never even attempted. Oh, maybe maybe that's weird. Maybe I, I don't eat the entire bag. Sure, I don't eat all the kernels. <laughs> just no crumbs on this bag of popcorn. <laughs> I'm licking the butter up. <laughs> that's when you know you have a problem when you're licking, licking the, the butter, butter up. when you turn the bag inside out to get at it. You do have to rip the bag though. I don't. I don't even use that kind of popcorn anymore because I have. Oh, my, you have a popcorn machine. I do. I have a little popcorn maker, and it but is, you can. But it still makes kernels. You still got make kernels. Well, you have extra kernels, probably. I mean, I could technically throw them back in and get all of it. Oh, but in a microwave bag of popcorn because I'm poor. Yeah, I can't afford fucking. <laughs> this a popcorn thing was probably like five bucks. Yeah, but I, I could, got it at like a like a Christmas swap thing, and I didn't use it until like last year, and it changed my life. You don't, you, don't you always have a snow cone maker? Yeah, I think that one doesn't work very well though. Oh, we yeah, because we were talking about doing that early on in the podcast about like doing alcoholic snow cones. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be really fun because we'll the wedding, the wedding. The wedding the weather's getting perfect. We got there. Yeah. Um, but going back to tattoos, bumper stickers, cars. Yes. I do have a little anecdote today. I was driving. Okay. And I saw a bunch of bumper stickers, <laughs> but I was on my way home from going to Walmart today and I was getting over in the, into the right lane because it was my exit. Sure. And then this car comes fucking railing. I can see it in my mirror, mm-hmm. like going super fast. Like yeah. it's like in a hurry. So I like got in front of it <laughs> and just went slow. Oh, I love Dude, that. it was. And then like I could see him just like start Get, throwing. No, they started like throwing hands in there. <laughs> it was like some girl. She's like, what do we do? Yeah, yeah. She's like started throwing hands. I could see her in my rear mirror oh, rear, my like God. talking to herself, like getting mad. So I just like started going so slow. And then like the light on the exit was green yeah and i went so slow <laughs> that it went yellow and i could have made the yellow sure and she could have made it too if she would yeah. have hurried but i just stopped <laughs> and i could just see her oh, fucking throwing it and then like she fall and then like you can't turn on red at this light sure so i was just sitting there waiting for it to turn green and then i went slow slow again and then she eventually just turned and, yeah, and got like, around grabbed, yeah she revved and i was like that brought me so much joy mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes I'm that person where I'm in a hurry. Right, yeah. But, but I'm just like... <laughs> Go fuck, yeah. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Like, I just made someone's day worse. Yep. And it didn't... Af- I got home the same amount of time. Right, yeah. Like, I just... It didn't affect me at <laughs> ever. And it just brought me joy. It was so... That's I love that, doing that I shit. I do that, too. Or, like, when someone... When, like, it says, like, left lane ending, and then someone tries to get ahead. It, when everyone agrees of, like, no, fuck this guy. Yeah, don't let him in. That is so <laughs> don't, amazing. Don't let him in. Yeah. Or, like, when there's a long line and there are people, like... Merging. In a, in they a, could have merged a while well, ago. There are people in a hurry behind you. Yeah. But you're like, mm, 
let's let these new people in. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I've never been that person, but that would be, I could see the joy in that. <laughs> because I'm just like, okay, I'm fucking these guys up and just being a nice yeah, person. Yeah, and they love me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and I just the give them the way. ratio, it's balanced either it's way. So, <laughs> it's so fun how much you can control people's fucking yeah. days. God, there was a one driving. time, I know I told, talked about it on the podcast, but where I just convinced somebody I was going to follow them home. Oh, yes. And they, like, about it. they were in like the left lane and took a right on red around just to get away from Just because they were like, because also they I cut mean, me off which started it and like i honked but and then also I was it's like, scary because right, you don't know them. how people can be crazy yeah. i think there's one movie with like russell crowe where it's just about that where someone honked on him at him and he was like i'm gonna murder them i guess and did he i, I don't know i never actually saw it or the I, show um, on netflix beef it that's how oh, it all that's starts basically, yeah okay i've yeah. never seen that i do want to see that show very good okay show. and i love steven yen yeah and michelle uh not nope. michelle no nope, not michelle uh, um, shit's the comedian Fuck! If you didn't start, if you didn't say Michelle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> God damn it! It's Izzy's favorite comedian. That's Amy her, Wong. That's your favorite comedian. Mm-hmm. Okay, Amy, Amy Wong. Wong. Okay, yeah, pretty good. But Stephen Yen, fantastic. Yeah. Um, but we do need to get back to Asheville, Tennessee. I meant Asheville, North Carolina. North Carolina. There we go. <laughs> Nashville, North Carolina. All right, so let's let's talk about it. So right, let's so, set up what the trip was before you even talk about it. All right, yeah. So I've mentioned it many times on this that my oldest sister, when I was younger, had cancer. And that my middle sister was the cure to the cancer. So she donated her bone marrow, full transplant, and, and cured it. And what did it. you do? I existed in the background <laughs> as needed. Didn't help. I was a little quiet boy in the back. And I did my job. Which you was didn't just, save your sister. I couldn't. I wasn't the same type. I'm allowed to make those jokes because my brother died. <laughs> of cancer. <laughs> of cancer. What kind of cancer did he have? Brain. <laughs> he had a brain tumor. Jesus. Yeah, his birthday was recently. He would have been 19, dude. Fuck. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Like, he would he would have been my other brother's age. That's weird. I never put that together because he died when he was like four. Sure. When so your other brother was four. Yeah, that's... <laughs> fucking <weird>. Heavy shit. <laughs> Let's talk about your alive cancer sister. Yeah. <laughs> She's doing great. Yikes. <laughs> Thriving. Didn't mean, to, didn't mean to make it a bummer. Loves breathing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wild like it's just wild that it, that you have a dead brother yeah, yeah. That's fucking especially weird. for that like 15 years i mean forever well yeah you'll but it's always been 15 have a, years yeah, you'll always have a dead brother yeah fuck. that's the one con you won't always have a living brother you'll always have a dead brother yeah and, and eventually they'll get more <laughs> it only goes up from here yeah no You'll probably die first, or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Your sister's a wild card. But also, I have so many siblings on my dad's side. Oh, too. that's true. Like, yeah, but I am older by a ton. Yeah, <laughs> your youngest sister is a fucking wild card. Yeah, she could get hit by a truck. And, yeah, and she, she already has been. She'd love it. <laughs> we need to get her on the pod. <laughs> She's got wild stories. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So my sister had cancer. My other sister cured it. I existed, <laughs> and um, they take a trip. I think every like five years or so and this one was 15 and i was invited to it i think last time they went to la i don't know oh, you they... weren't invited the first couple of times no it was their thing that, like i didn't expect to be invited yeah, because you didn't do shit well also like I don't, it's their they, it was a thing they did <laughs> i didn't I, okay i didn't know that this was your first time going yeah so i've gone on vacation with them before Yeah, but this, that's a big deal for you to be invited yeah it was their big bone marrow transplant trip yeah but yeah so this year i was invited i think Next year or next time, we're playing a trip with like everybody. Well, because they they do it every five. For the, I think so. So yeah. they're planning for the twentieth. Yeah, which is a, that's a big deal. <laughs> right now, our plan is Branson, Missouri. Hey, it's, like, they could be was, fun. Yeah, as in like it's just like we go and fuck around yeah, the whole well, time. Yeah. Embrace it. Yeah, like that's one where you just let's fucking all in. Yeah, yeah all in. Yeah. <laughs> Which and like I have a very I'm very close with my family. We're all and then we're all like similar. We're all very friends with each other, which like, is nice, including yeah. like parents and stuff. And grandparents. Yeah. That are your parents. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we went on this trip together. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, first day, not much happened. We just kind of hung out, went around a shopping center, went to a cool bookstore that like also served champagne. Oh, a champagne bookstore. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was fun. I bought a book on archery. Damn. Yes. Like how to do it or how to get better? Like um, a- It was like archery and zen. So it was like a mixture of meditation with archery where I was like, eh, it's a book on archery. I'm Whoa. recently in archery. So. so it's like you're doing yoga poses while doing archery. Maybe, yeah. Or I bet it's a lot of like breathing practices. While you, you you, there's like a girl that does like archery with her feet. There you be- is. You become yeah. that person. Where she can flip above. Where she and does do like it. handstands and does the, yeah. and gets a bullseye. Yeah. How the fuck? How do you begin to train for that? Exactly how you think. 
you start fucking grabbing things with your feet. I guess, yeah. Which I'm pretty good with my feet. Grab. I just have. I can't bend that way. Yeah. So you got to be flexible. Yeah, because I, like, I wouldn't be able to get 90 degrees backwards at all. But she gets like all yeah. the way and over then she, her. Pick. Yeah. Uh, so why did you guys pick Asheville? Uh, my uh, sister went there for her honeymoon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And she just knew that we would really love that because we're cool. like hiking and stuff. And like, I want to take like Izzy there now. It was super Oh, it fun. was like a beautiful area? Yes, it was incredible. You guys just stay at like an Airbnb or yeah, a so hotel? Yeah, so first night we did a hotel. And yeah, it was just shopping day. It was fun. Got dinner at a cool like Hawaiian restaurant. Okay, hell yeah. Yeah, and then second day was the best day. We started off, it was super early, I think like 8 a.m. Zip lining. What? In the you guys went zip lining? In the mountains. Yeah, it was incredible. And zip lining was really funny. Dude, so you've been zip lining. So you went zip lining in New Zealand? That's it. Zip lining in New Zealand, zip lining in Africa. Yeah, but like I've been zip lining in none. It's pretty That great. sounds amazing. I've been zip lining like fucking at Boy Scouts, but that doesn't sure. count. <laughs> it's like something that they put up. <laughs> yeah. But like it was fun because it was us and it was three other people and two guides. And like the three other people was two were uh, like younger couple. It was definitely like that they were like a young couple, like probably still like high school. Oh, and wow. like still like trying to figure out how to be like on their own and stuff. So, and, and they also, just decided to go on a trip and go. Zip she like. had like something in the area that she talked about. Like she was there for a reason he came with, but also it was very much of like, they're not going to make it. <laughs> yeah, they're going to break up. Nothing was wrong. It's just like, it wasn't there and that's okay. And then the other guy, which I felt so bad from, he started the, tr- started the whole thing with being like, Oh, um, I'm trying to work here this summer. I just got, I just sent in my application. So I'm going to be doing this a bunch. And then the so guy, he didn't get, so he just applied and he's just doing it for fun. Yeah. To like get to know the people in the area. I don't know if he like, I don't know if like <laughs> he's he, going to get the job. I don't know if like he even got like an interview yet or if he literally just applied. And but, that's probably kind of expensive to do. Um, Probably, I think it was like 80 bucks or something like that. Yeah, so, so like, it's not something you... <laughs> but like, uh, it's either way, it's a fun thing. Yeah, I think you've been yeah. ziplining before. And like, <laughs> we get taught how to do that. We get all strapped in. The guides are great. Because also like ziplining comes with this weird type of humor that goes with yep, it. Yeah, 100%. Which I enjoy for the most part. But it's sometimes like it's like, okay. Dumb kitschy. The issue with ziplining for me is when they're like, all right, on this one... You're going to go out and the, we got a lot of birds in this area. So do your best bird call. I'm like, I don't want to do that. But I'm not going to bird call. But then the guide who's a hot buff dude goes out and he's silly and he does a great bird call. And then you're like, ah, oh, damn it. And then like one other person goes out and they do it. I'm like, I'm next. I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to do it, but I don't want to be the dickhead who doesn't. So now I'm doing a bird call. And what do you do? Let's hear it. All right. So the bird call was actually in New Zealand. I don't remember what I did, but this one, like one of them was like, yell something you love. Or one was, uh, do a movie quote. And it's just shit like that. While you're on the zip line. Yeah. But can you just enjoy the? That's a big part of Let's it. Let's enjoy the fucking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wind. But I will say what the movie quote they did aim for the bushes. <gasps> Perfect. Yeah. Yep. Other guys. Mine was, um, quiver with Antissa. And then I went and I landed, I went, patient and everyone was like what i was like all right you didn't hear the first part it's a rocky horror quote okay yeah where he holds it for a long time so that's yeah okay it kind of made me think of like how i met your mother mm, sure uh the what does he say where he, he like goes wait for it yeah what something did, i don't yeah, know what, what is he the payoff i don't even remember I, I don't, yeah no i i don't remember i barely know that show to be honest yeah me neither i never actually watched it i watched it a ton but it was always just on sure. like i never like what binged it um, but that's you started your day with zip lining. Yeah, but also all right. So there's that kid who interviewed, and like for the zip line, you're taught like all right for this first one, you gotta lay like you gotta lean back, keep your arms like all the way stretched back, so you're lean back there, and you keep your legs out and like a little spread, because so, when you stop, you shoot up like your feet go into the sky, and like you like straddle the wire or the Whoa, cable you're okay. on, and so like you learn that. I did it. Like you learn how to steer a little bit. And like, cause you don't like turn all the way around or anything, but this, the kid who like, uh, like put in his application, he comes in sideways. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> he turned or he turned too far and couldn't turn back. So he goes up like, he doesn't like hit it hard or anything, but you're like, Ooh, that's not what you're supposed to do. And he cl- and he's like, and I'm going to work here. Yeah. And he gets up and like, he gets on the platform. And you're like, Oh no, you're supposed to step on this like step. So, cause you have to go above so they can unhook you from all this stuff. And he's struggling to get up. And then the whole time he's just like, God, I don't, 
I don't know what happened out there. I don't know why I did. Like he's like, <laughs> he did he was making an excuse. excuse. Like he's like, okay, and like I felt so bad the entire time. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> yeah, and like, cause I know that feeling too of it sucks when like that happens, especially when you're trying like yeah. to be it. And like the whole time he's trying to like joke with the guys, but he's like just a little bit off. Cause also the guys are like probably like late twenties. This this guy might be like a late teenager, or early okay, twenties. Yeah, like, so he's so like, he's I'd tried twenty. So he probably got old. really embarrassed. Yeah, and and like he like fucked up a few of them, <laughs> and like it's just like ah, but I'm so sorry, dude. That type of situation always reminds me of The Office when they play basketball. Sure, and, and like, Michael, I don't know what's wrong with me. Today. Yeah, Michael yeah. just always misses, and he's like, <coughs> "I usually make these." Yeah. No, you it, don't. It was just that the entire time. It's like, oh, no, buddy. you usually you usually yeah. suck. <laughs> well, yeah. hopefully, hopefully he gets the job. I because that'd be a dope fucking job. Yeah, but also like you gotta be doing a lot of stuff in that job. And you're it, telling it's, why are they the always like the the guys that do that? They're always fucking hot, attractive, yeah. and funny. Yeah, and silly. It's well, just like buff. It's yeah. like they're like the perfect package. They are. I mean, also, and that's why they work at a fucking well, zipline, an adventure thing. Yeah, yeah. that's got to be the greatest that's job fucking, ever. Yeah, that's and, awesome. And they knew a lot about the forest. They knew a lot about like the birds and shit. It sounds like my yeah. buddy that lives in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. I think could, I could yeah. see him being a zipline fucking yeah. guy. Yeah, or he's just like. The best dude. Yeah. And every and like yeah, he's and everybody hot. loves him. Yeah, immediately. And he's just so charismatic and everything. Yeah, but zipline was great. I can throw what some. What a good way to start the day. Just it, fresh wind also, in your face. It was like a little foggy out still. It was beautiful. We saw the, that sunrise, but like a good moment. In so the it was sun. like in the mountains? Pretty yeah, quite Damn, a bit. Yeah. Okay. That's fucking Over that's forest, yeah. badass. There was a point where there was like 200 drop beneath us kind of shit. Yeah. God. You go like 30 miles an hour on the zip line. I'm so scared of heights, but I would love to do it. It's it's not quite heights because you're fl- you're. Well, and also you're it's zipping. like you step off and you go. Uh, but also we did because you don't because you don't drop. Yeah. Well, we did some rappelling too, but it was um very much like a top rope where it's just that like auto belay. Oh yeah, yeah. Where it, not bad. And one, I'm afraid of heights, but I can do belay. Yeah, and like one, and it's like auto. Because you're belay. in a harness. Yeah, it's yeah. auto belay. So it's once you step off, you just like. And like then you just, just hop off the wall. Yeah, you're just yeah. that. No, it's literally just. Oh, you just scoop. sink. Yeah, okay. you just slowly. Okay, that's so not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, and then after that, we got some lunch at this like little tap house, like right outside the area. It was great. And then next up was fucking kayaking. You you did ziplining and kayaking in the same day. Yeah, it was the best. We went like ziplining at eight. I don't know when we oh got done, but God. we went kayaking at like one. What? Mm-hmm. You did that in the same day. It was awesome. That's, it, the, that's the best day. It was the best. That's day. the best day. Yeah. Like after that, I was like, all right, like all right. The I, idea we did is, it. Like, if I do this trip again, it it could be two days, and just one of the days is that, and it's perfect. Dude, I love kayaking. I do too. I kind of want that to be like my next thing after archery. Kayaking, kayaking is so awesome. Yeah, because we signed up, and it was like it said like level one and two rapids, which it turns out is just nothing. It's oh, just so like, it wasn't rapids at all. I mean, there were rapids, but it's just like there's like rocks in the water that oh, like okay. if you go exactly on top of you get stuck. That was the only risk. I would love to do whitewater rafting in like Colorado and shit. Yeah, I. Were you wear? Did you have to wear a helmet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So helmet was... and life vest, but like I didn't fall in at all. No, I mean yeah. life vest. I always yeah have if one if it's an actual like yeah. spot you could like. I always just have one though because I go. Kayaking just on a, a river. Yeah. But I always have one in my kayak. Where you could grab on. Where I could grab it, yeah. And like, yeah. So like, when I say like rapids, it was like literally like, if you went over a rock, you could get stuck and you'd have to scoot off. But like, I wasn't nervous at all. It was fun. That sounds, dude, yeah. kayaking Again, is so have fun. have some photos here that we'll so put. So bad. At it. You gotta make yeah. sure you send those to me. Yes. Because I haven't seen any of these. This is all but, new information to me. But like, when we got our kayaking guide, of course, he was a hot buff dude and he was funny and of awesome. Of course, he's a kayaker guide. Yeah. And um, we were in these like kind of inflatable kayaks, but they were like heavy duty. Whoa. And so I might, inflatable. Yeah, I'm gonna maybe try and get those because I found some for like a hundred bucks. I don't think I've ever seen those. But like, they were, like, you could tell that like they were fine because I asked them, like, what are these rated up to? And they were like, these could do like level four. And like, I think level five is like the. And you just level. pump them full of air? And they, I guess. And they're like, like, more, like tarp material. They're strong. Damn. And so, and so then when you're not using it, you can actually. It's easier like to store. Can, yeah. Instead of like, because storing a kayak sucks. Yeah. And moving a kayak sucks. Yeah. Because you need like a fucking truck or yeah, like a. Some, like. But inflatable, I mean, that would probably take a little bit, but, but like, if you had a pump. It's still worth it. Yeah, Definitely, yeah. I didn't even know it was a thing. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, and then it started, there were six of us and the guide. And the way we started is he was like, all right, see that eddy upstream? And eddy is just like a little like, like lulled part of the water where yes. it's like, there might be something in front of it. So you go there and the current doesn't really take dude, it. Why is life 
I just realized, I just learned what Eddie was a few yeah. days ago because I was playing Scrabble with my grandpa. Oh. And he used Eddie as a word. Yeah. What synchronicity. The f- what the heck? Synchronicity, yeah. dude. Life is weird, uh-huh. dude. There's <laughs> fucking a- somebody on went- social media went to Asheville, fucking learned there, about Eddie. There's a term for that. Like once you hear something, it like comes up a lot for well, some reason. Well, it's like when you notice a red card, you see a ton of red cards yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so it was like that. He was like, all right, like you go, if you guys just paddle upstream, like, like 20 feet upstream and not a... St- heavy current was, at yeah, all. So, yeah. Yeah. and like it was and he was like all right you all go up there and we'll get started after that because we'll go downstream after this so we all start that me and my sister's good and there's three other people and the three other people are a friend and two sisters and the friend was definitely a, like a friend close to one of the sisters i wish i wish it was the trip. same group right from the zip line well, they, oh, sure, <laughs> this yeah. guy's like I wanted to do this. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same dude. But immediately, so the three of us get up there and the friend gets up there, but the two sisters, one immediately just starts going downstream and just can't stop. And then we look at her and she's in the water all immediately. She flipped? And the other sister's trying to help her. Oh my God. <laughs> and so the, she's never kayaked before? And like, I don't know. Or has terrible balance? Maybe she like bailed on it, but like, it's not like, it was not quick. And just, oh my and, God. And immediately she's out of the water. She's like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> She just <laughs> yep. So then it's the friend and it's two friends now. <laughs> so it's us and the two friends. Great, they fit in great with me. And my sister, the guide was super funny, but also like the. So then we start all paddling. So is the guide like he goes in front or how does it work? Yeah, because hiking most, it's kind of hard to talk. He was mostly in front, yeah. and then like he would like kind of lull, and then he was like paddling backwards a lot. But also, I I definitely like got the thing like if he looked at us as like his unit, he was just like God damn it because it's like five idiots on this river he is, uh, and he's been on this river <laughs> yeah every day like my one of my sisters caught in a tree my other one <laughs> sideways and i'm just like paddling in a circle and just like we're all just idiots like it's like that scene in the second deadpool when he looks up and they're all like parachuting and they're just fucking yeah, they're going every, this guy like, definitely God, every dude. time he turned around he's like Jesus, but like, but he's quite used to it. Yeah, and we made him laugh a bunch, which was I mean, nice. it's level one and level. Yeah, he, like he, we were in no it's danger. Like, yeah, yeah, these are like people that don't know how to kayak. Yeah. And like, there was one part where like he was like, "Oh, you see that tree? We could jump off that if you want." So like, I climbed up it, jumped in the water. It was great. Well, the water was deep enough to jump. In this up one it? spot, yeah, me and one of my sisters were able to get up there. Oh, and that's jump. fucking yeah. cool. Because sometimes kayaking, depending on where you are, the water well, isn't. Yeah, that we deep. were dragging at some yeah. spots. Yeah, it all depends on the. Ri- it sucks when you drag. Yeah, it sucks. Because I've done that many inflatable times. Inflatable is nice too because it felt like I like I didn't drag at all ever because I'm oh, kind of small, yeah, but smaller. also like it was inflated, so it felt very. So it's not up. as heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, there was one time I went kayaking like for my birthday, mm-hmm. and it was when I got my twenty three tattoo. Oh yeah, is it was the river was so low because we go kayaking on a river that like most of the time we were dragging, so we had to get out and pull. Yeah, it sucks. But one of the people with us, Serena, yep, another so freshman performer, she is so tiny that like she literally just was she glided it's over all the rocks, on the water, and it's yeah. like two inches of water. Yep. How the fuck? Yep. And I had to get out, and it sucked. So I just got drunk. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Cause I I do want kayaking to be a more thing in my That's, life. It's now. it's one of my favorite things to do in the world. It's dude. not that hard. I love it, and I'm because also it can be the easiest thing. Well, too. And also like I feel like I'm pretty good at it because <laughs> a lot of people that do it fucking accidentally will like tip or like yeah. they don't have balance. But like I know how to fucking yeah. I know how to keep balance and I know how to read the river. Yes, like I know how to be like okay, yeah. I gotta slow down here or turn start turning before. Yeah, no, I got pumped when I was like doing good or when I could like if I started to turn I could paddle backwards on one yeah. side. It's fucking fun. One dude. point there was a a branch over. I threw my paddle over the branch and caught it. Damn, and my, it's, dude, my guy told me too, and I was like, all right, I'm not gonna fuck this up. And I did it. My <laughs> sister did it, and she fucked it up. I like got. It. And Hell you're like, yeah. I got it. Yeah, dude, it's I'm so fun. This. Every time I go kayaking, I love just having a beer and smoking a cigar. Oh. Like, and by a cigar, I mean like a black and mild. Yeah, a little cigarillo. <laughs> a cigarillo. A little bitch cigar, because I'm yeah. a little bitch. But, like, but, dude, it's just, you're fucking shirtless. It's yeah. just like, and, and like, dude, there was when you're on a river, nothing matters. Right, yeah. Like, There's literally, no. like. Where are the cops? No. Nope. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> That's, I'm thinking, like, no phones. Oh, right, yeah. Like, it's just like, you're experiencing yeah. this moment 100%. Yeah, there was times where, like, it was, like, a really, like, there was a little bit of current, but it was, like, really calm, so I just laid back a little, and closed it, my eyes, to listen to it. And you can just, like, ah. Perfect, yeah. No, I, I definitely want kayaking to be more of a thing in my it's, life now. It's one of my favorite things. I try to do it at least once a year. Yeah, I would like to, because that was the thing where, like, I could do this every weekend. And be yeah. so happy. Well, and also there's rivers nearby here that people do kayak on, and like we don't have any extreme rivers around. I've here. never, yeah, and it's just like one of those where you just got like, p- 
you pick a place where you start and then drop off. The so start get, and stop is the hard part or getting a kayak. Yeah. Yeah. Getting a kayak is the yeah, top part. I was going to see if there's any like rentals around here. But then you got to, I mean, you can kayak like at the lake. Yeah. And I've done that a few times. That's not And it's as not as, fun, it's though. not as fun because you basically just, just like paddle, paddle around, around yeah. and, but I've done that a few times. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, I did that on a date one time and we like went and we got high and yeah. it was fun. Oh, you're being high and paddling on a lake, I could see being yeah. fun. But I, I like being on a river because it's just, it's a you straight continue. line. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a straight new line. stuff. Too. It's always also, new. This area it's, is gorgeous. Oh, I'm sure trees. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. I saw Mountains, it. maybe. Um, not really. On we didn't really or see or rocks. Them. Yeah, but like saw a water snake, saw lizards. It was fun. Damn. Um, mm-hmm. So you don't want to fall in the water. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was a water snake on like the edge. Yeah, water snakes are scary. But no, like I, when I jumped off the tree, I was in the water. Oh, that's fine, true. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's so fun, dude. Mm-hmm. Ziplining and kayaking? Yeah, so like... I'm so fucking jealous, I want to go dude. again and I want that's, to dude, just do a weekend. If I could like... How do you do that shit just all the time? I don't, it was 160 bucks for both. Not bad. <sighs> not bad For a all. weekend, just yeah. for a day, not bad at all. Like, I just want to... Like, that's that's when I feel most alive is when I do yeah. that kind of well, shit. We were talking like, this is just this guy's job. Yeah, all the time thriving. I wonder how much he makes though. I but honestly, enough. you're you're outside. You're on the river. Yeah, you're bullshitting with people. But also, like, and that it's easy as hell. I bet you make a decent amount because you have to be qualified, and you have to like be probably uh, lifeguard certified or yeah, whatever for sure. CPR, CPR certified. Shit, yeah. yeah. Same with like the because you you have people in stuff, your yeah. fucking yeah you are li- in charge of these people. Yeah. Make sure they don't die. No, you, I'm sure there's insurance shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was that day, and then like uh, we went back to our. Th- now we had an uh, Airbnb, and it was like kind of a cabin in the mountains Ooh. where it was all like elevated, like okay. not quite a treehouse, but like treehouse esque. Damn, it was fun. There was wild turkeys around, which was terrifying. Were they loud? Yeah, they and, they, and they were like getting close to the house, and we're like, "What if they get?" Were they inside? aggressive? I, I not to us, but like turkeys are scary. Yeah, they're massive. <laughs> like it's wild. You're like, "Oh, I, I used you every Thanksgiving." Yeah, and you're like, "Oh, wow, you that's what you look like right now." Yeah, like they're they're big, dude. Mm-hmm. And then like it had this beautiful patio, and like so yeah, that was most of that day. And then the next day, we start off. We went down the mountain, got coffee. Yeah, because we were up in the mountain too. And like we got coffee, brought it back, and then we just hung out on the porch patio thing. And there was a thunderstorm, and like there was fog oh, everywhere. Wow. And we just sat there and talked for like four hours. Was it like a covered patio too? So yes. you were like, oh wow, yeah. And like it had a swinging like kind of bed, so we just hung out and just talked about life. And it was well, really it was nice. Stormy, yeah. And with your siblings, yeah. And it's been like a long time since I've been with both sisters, and like where we could really be like vulnerable and talk about like. Real shit going And also, on. yeah, just you guys. Like, it's not like your sister yeah. has to deal with her kids. Yeah. Or, like, relate, sip, or uh, your significant others are there. Right, yeah. Or your parents are there. Mm-hmm. No, it's like, because you guys grew up, you've known each other your entire lives. Yeah, just everything. That's, yeah. what I, that's why I love visiting my sisters. Sure. Because we can have those moments where it's like, everything. we're just fucking trauma dumping. And, like, it doesn't, or you're, just, you're or in bullshitting. It. Yeah, doesn't and matter. And it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, you're... It's always going to be it's fucking, siblings, yeah, no it's matter so what. Yeah, it's so awesome. And it was it's really, so awesome to just be 100% you. Yeah. And it was really nice hearing them kind of talk openly, honestly, about shit. Because not that I am like a fuck up, but I'm more so the fuck up in the family. Like I'm, Well, you couldn't say your sister. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, I'm not saying I'm the fuck up in the family, but I'm definitely more of the weirder kid. Yes, because it's like, you know. One is very successful. I mean, both are very successful. But like one is like did law school and the other is like has a family yes. and stuff and like i'm married like, and kids and i'm then, the weirder one but also you're the youngest too well, so yeah. it's like and also i'm like the only boy and like it was just it's all very different and like but they, it, it was so like were you able to talk about that kind of stuff yeah, about them? everything it was super Damn, that's really fucking nice, nice. And, they, and you don't have that pressure of anybody being around or hearing. and like i'm trying to take like that day especially as like a shift yeah and i'm trying to like ride that wave or zip that line. Yeah, zip that line, <laughs> Just baby. Just keep it going. <laughs> but yeah, so that was so nice. And I think that, that afternoon we went, we went mini golfing, which was like, I don't know what to do. This is something we can do. Dude, I love mini golfing. Yeah. I lost, though. Only by one, though. They tied at 50, and I got 51. I was pissed. Damn, a close game. I know. Usually it's like one person does bad, one mm-hmm. person does good. Yeah. By we all point. did okay. Dude, mini golfing is my one of my favorite things. <laughs> Like, I'm not kidding. Yeah. There are so many mini golf courses near us that I've never done and I've always wanted to. And they're not expensive. It's like no, 10 bucks. It's not that. All expensive. right. So we should start doing mini golf. Because there's one on the south side. I know of that. Then there's one by the Blank Park Zoo. Yep. By the golf course. 
uh, the, I know the guy who hired us to do that magic convention. Look up Cups and Balls to learn more about that. But uh, I think he's trying to open up his own mini golf spot. Well, and I think they opened up a new one in like Jordan Creek area where it's like... Uh, like neon or neon whatever. Neon yeah. and like you drink while you do it. So I, I, I much prefer... Outdoors. And like there's like this one was very much what i picture mini golf where there's like a shitty waterfall and there's like a hippo yeah, like statue 100%, yeah and like it's like what do we do every it time i go on vacation i talked about it uh last summer it's every two years i go to pentwater michigan okay and there's like uh, uh there's a mini golf thing in town that i've never done but we go to the one outside of town which is like mini golf go-karting yeah and like there's like an arcade and so we always like mini golf and then we get fucking ice cream afterwards oh, and it's just nice. like it's just like fun, dude. Because mm-hmm. it's like during the day, you got fucking little kids, adults, older people. Mm-hmm. You're going groups because you have such a big group, and it's just fun, dude. And one time, me and my uncle like made like rum and cokes, and we snuck them in. Mm-hmm. It's just normal pop. Oh, <laughs> sure, yeah. So we were getting a little buzz while we were playing. Yeah, that'd be fun. And it was it was fucking dope, dude. Mini golf is just it's so fun because you can take it so seriously, and then it just doesn't work out well, how you think it. It's always like try. But like it doesn't matter. Yeah, it try and then you go, oh fuck, yeah. this is tough. Dude. That volcano came out of nowhere. It just <laughs> or like it hits it. a hits a rock and, and just goes, bounces. Sometimes odd, it bounces yeah. off the fucking yeah. course, and you go, can I try again? And then they go, yeah, no, sure, just no. no. <laughs> I would go play where it is. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude. Yeah, and there's a mini golf also has a like a good spot in our all of our family's hearts because there's one time where we went to a mini golf place in like the wisconsin dells and there was like a little stream and i think my, my mom had like a flip-flop on so she like took it off and she like wanted just like to put her foot in the stream just to feel the running water and she just wiped out like <laughs> fell in the stream she, she just, like cut open her leg and just like and just, what got, the fuck happened? just got completely drenched yeah, just like just destroyed herself just she was just like, like oh this would be oh, nice and, then- oh, like, we, and we were all like children watching it so like anytime we're at a mini golf or see anything like that we sent a photo of her of us like with our feet close to the water you gotta remember when you fell with it <laughs> that's so funny dude <clears throat> it's yeah. I love those types of memories, though. But yeah. that's 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 what happens when you go out and do stuff like that as you, like a group. You yeah, know? something like, happens. Something yeah. happens where you're like, "Oh, this is going to be an inside <laughs> joke oh, forever." Fuck, yeah. <laughs> and that night, we went back to the Airbnb and played um, Egyptian Rat Screw and Uno, like just Ooh, solid wow. card games. Egyptian Rat Screw with your sisters? Yeah. Well, they're the ones who taught me. Oh, are they really? Mm-hmm. So are they competitive? Yes. And so it's very yeah, just like that's where like all right, engagement rings need to come off, like that kind of shit. Like yeah. Do you guys do the drinking one? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I didn't drink much on this trip. I had like a couple of beers just depending on when. Oh, wow. Just like After when you were- After the kayaking, at- they were like, hey, you want a beer? I'm like, oh my God, yes. Yes. This is the best. It was one and of, you go- Because you feel yeah. like you earned it. Yeah. It was this, it was this guy? Um, Not the purple one. I think it was like the orange one oh, or something. They're, they're like normal one or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But that's how I learned that it was made there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm trying I- to think. Um, so that would have been, I think, Monday. So Tuesday- I'm trying to think what we did that day. Nothing crazy because we like left the hotel. Ah, I can't remember what we did that morning. We probably went and got. Bre- oh, I think we went to like a diner. It was nice. Oh, I love a good diner, and especially then, in like a town that you don't really know. It's like yeah, you feel like you're walking into like just somebody's entire life. Like there's life, like yeah. usuals there. Like yeah, it was weird. And then um, that was the day we got the tattoo, which was fun because also both my sisters one has like six tattoos, the other has three now. But like the one with six tattoos, she's like good about getting tattoos. But the other one was terrified and in pain. So, but you, but you guys all agreed that you were going to get matching tattoos. Yeah, it was the one who was terrified's idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. So she's kind of like me with tattoos. Um, it's more or just, worse. No, she's she's not as bad as you. Where you'll pass out from the like the. I've blood never sugar. passed out. You would have if you didn't have the Jolly Rancher. <laughs> I'd be no, close. She just hates pain. Oh, okay. And like for me, it's tattoos aren't really even like this tattoo it's on my ankle it's not so what really you, so uh tell us tell everyone what you got oh yeah the tattoo uh, photo here it is a photo of the three of us as children i mean i'm probably like 10 in the photo so really they're teenagers but us just playing in the rain outside of I mean, our you're house still a children yeah you're still a like, child yeah but like older but still yeah it's a photo where we were all kind of like silhouetted and we're all just running around in the cul-de-sac in the rain. Yeah, that's it, he showed me the photo. It's on his ankle. I'm like, mm-hmm. that's fucking badass. Yeah, and I love that it's a silhouette. And when he first showed me, I was like, I kind of seen that before. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I was like, oh, I know that photo. It is funny. My one sister, um, because it's got like all the rain like tattooed on. It kind of just looks like her legs are hairy. <laughs> oh yeah, because it does. It just and drops. She's like, ah, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but it is like it's in a square. Yeah, you know. So that's kind of nice that you all got matching tattoos. Mm-hmm. That's such. A, so that's also solidifies. 
the trip too. For sure. Because yeah. then every time they look at it, they can remember, oh, oh. zip lining, mini golf, yeah, all of that. kayaking, hanging out with my siblings. And that's like the 15 year reunion for them. Yeah. yeah. Which is a big deal for them. Right. Yeah. I just, I don't really remember that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which also makes sense. I mean, I was in junior high when my brother died. So like, I don't remember it a ton either. Sure. I just grabbed a moth out of the air. I did see that. <laughs> and that's the I... camera. <laughs> and then I'm trying to think, oh, Tuesday, I can't remember the area we were in. We went to Victory Boulevard Tattoo. I recommend it if you're in Nashville. They did great. But we were in this area that was super fun. Or like, it kind of felt like East Village-y. And okay. like, I went to like, they had like a video game, used DVD, poster shop. It was very much like JCD and Hobby. And that was really fun. Got to talk to the guys there. Um, I went to an arcade and I was furious when I did this arcade. It was called like Retrocade or whatever. And you were like, hell yeah, I love arcades. Yeah. And like, it was like 10 bucks to get in. But I was like, hey, can I just like see what you guys got? I work in an arcade and the, and the guy let me in. They modernized every fucking cabinet. They yeah. took out the original monitor and put in like a flat screen a TV. A flat screen, yep. And then didn't put the bezel in so you could see past it in the back wood of it. Yep. Horrible. They had tons. And that's of, what they did with all of their machines. Yeah, and yeah. they were multi K because they're a lot easier to fix. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's also just bullshit. They had a temp. They, there's so many places that do that. It yeah. sucks. I no, hate it. I a, hate that shit. They had a Tempest, and they converted it to a flat screen TV. And the temp- not the same. No, because a Tempest uses a vector monitor. Same with Asteroids. Where if you're aware of that the the colors and the any lights on it pop so much they look like they're kind of like 3d yeah and it's a certain and type of monitor of fucking- it's called vector and they're impossible to fix but the fact that they even had these machines in there and then updated same with they had like pandora box in there it, it all just i got so upset because you're like these aren't real you ruined it well dude you took these cabinets and you kept all the cabinets and, I'm, and they like, might have bought the cabinets broken and then just sure but also like them. the fake eight bit thing on there like i looked at their miss pac-man and like you could still see that it's bitted out but it's not real it, yeah they got it they got a filter on it yeah, yeah yeah it didn't need to be a lot of arcades do that and it fucking is stupid it's horrible i need to take you and i need to go back i've only been there once to galloping ghost okay uh that's an arcade near my buddy uh dan i think it's in uh, illinois i think that's the one you've told me about yes right? i yeah. sent you photos of it years ago because yeah. i went f- and it's apparently they bought the place next to them so they've expanded a ton and it's all real arcades Good. and it's literally like you pay to get in mm-hmm. and it's all all the games are free play and it's fucking like literally cabinets cabinets like it's like jam-packed yeah like so if you're at a cabinet you gotta squeeze aisles. you gotta squeeze by somebody to keep moving yeah and they have everything oh, i would love to go there that place is dude, you can have. spend all day there yeah and it's a little bit more pricier to get in 15 20 bucks maybe this one was like 10 i think but like but Literally, also, it had less games than up. But the, this place is like everything, and but it's all like retro, and right. it's all real cabinets, God. and like it's all like it's so fun, and that'd it's and it's free play. So you're like. Let's fucking beat these games. Yeah, that'd you know? be my dream to work at a place like that where it's just like literally I could find, I could fill a day just doing little fixes on oh, all of them. Yeah, making sure the joystick works on this. Yeah, like yeah. fixing the like marquee lights, that kind of shit. I like, would love to go back to Galloping Ghost. That's like I, it's. I think it's one of the biggest. At least in the Midwest, yeah, of like real arcades. So I might go to uh, Monsterama this week because he hires us to fix some of the shit there, and I haven't been there. To oh, fix I've been there once. Yet. That place was dope. It's very similar, but way smaller than sure. Galpin Ghost. But also because it's all free play and shit. Jay owns that from JCD and which is badass, yeah. dude. And I want to become friends with that guy. Um, they, there's some really cool arcades in there. The West and I beat. Yeah, I'm curious, which is, which is awesome. I want to like the rare ones they have. I don't know if they. It sucks because they had Target Terror, mm. which is an awesome Konami game. Target Terror is uh, fine. Um, Wait. Is Target Terror Konami? Yeah. At least the one on the Wii. They made Target Terror on the Wii. It's a light gun game. Yeah, I know it's light gun. Yeah. All right. Um, but it was down when Wes and I went. And I've always wanted to play the arcade version of it. Oh. Because we have it for the Wii. Target Terror is fine. It's like the same as it's, like Max Force or Area 51. Yeah, it's live action. Yeah. But I love the... It, it's so bad it's good, you know? Those ones are fine. But I've never played the arcade one, so I want to play That's it. weird. You've never played the arcade one. Because I've, I've, I've seen Area 51 and Maximum Force a ton. Yeah. And like, Area 51 sucks. No, it's good. I I've, like it. Oh, uh, compared to all, I think that's maybe the worst light gun uh, as far as mainstream light gun. I don't know Carnivals. I don't like Carnival. <sighs> I I want to like Carnival it's so not, bad. And also, like Revolution X sucks. Well, okay, yeah, Re- but Rev X isn't light gun. Yeah, but it's like it wants to be. Well, yeah, I. It tries to be. I'm not really a fan of any of those, like the grid track filter ones. Yeah, yeah. it sucks. <laughs> but yeah. I I just really wanted to play Target Terror because we've been playing that on the Wii sure. for years. 
maybe tar- target terror is might be better than max force i think it's it's very similar because target terror has the gold edition gold edition is pretty good okay i don't know what that means it's a different um cabinet it's just slightly better oh, okay yeah oh. is it weird i know more about video games in certain things than you in certain things like <laughs> <Yeah>. arcades <laughs> pretty big thing <laughs> but then i'm like hey you want to talk about home consoles <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. shit <laughs> i'm learning I'm learning a ton more because I'm doing like uh, freelance editing too for another gaming channel. So you're learning the kind of stuff he talks about. So then he talks about different, more retro things. And I'm like, I've never heard of this game, never heard of this game. But then I'm learning it by looking at gameplay and yeah. inserting gameplay. You can bring that in your own cat. Yeah. And, and then I'm like, ooh, I'm becoming a gamer. Oh. Yeah. If you, you guys still haven't used my knowledge yet. We'll see. One day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because that was our. Yeah. Finish your trip. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, Wednesday morning, we went to. Oh, we went to this breakfast spot, which was great. And also they had photos of Obama eating there. So that's Ooh. all I could talk about. And my sisters didn't think it was as funny as I did. I love Obama. Yeah, because I was like, he could have used this fork. And then I just started licking the fork. You're like, this fork was in his mouth. Yeah. And now it's in my mouth. I'm basically Obama. <laughs> I'm one fork away from Obama. <laughs> TSO. Tansuit Obama. Tansuit Obama. <laughs> yeah. And then um, we flew out that night. I would say the Asheville airport is rough. Small town airport. Yeah. There was like five like um what's it called terminals yeah oh wait no like terminals are the big ones aren't they five gates five gates okay yeah, yeah. it very much felt like um you uh a dmv when you went in there oh there's yeah people everywhere and you're like god damn it well dude when i went to colorado a few months ago we, for a funeral mm-hmm. we, we we flew into a small airport and then we flew out of that small airport mm-hmm. and literally there were two gates <sighs> and we showed up at the airport two hours early yeah because that's what you're supposed to do. Yep. And we got there and it was closed. So you're just sitting there. Waiting. So like, like literally outside security, outside security. Cause it was closed because there was no flights. Yeah. I'm mean, So sense. we had to wait like an hour yeah. for them to open the gate so we could go through security. And then it was another hour <laughs> because it was only, they only had one flight going on that night. Jesus. And it was like, so then we just, where'd you do a connecting flight from? Do you know? Oh, uh, we went from that to Denver. Oh, okay. And then, oh, sure. yeah. So it was, it was like a, an hour like, flight. Yeah. yeah. Real quick. It yeah, it's weird when you go to small airports, it's like, how do you guys make money? It's because they close. <laughs> yeah. I will say one thing that I hated about traveling with my sister with, because we live in the same area, so we flew the same flights. When there was turbulence on like like on the descent, she would pull out her phone and start watching videos of her kid. What? In case she dies. I'm like, you're not helping the situation. Oh my god. No, like, so yeah. that's what that's why she that's why her daughter has anxiety. Because yeah, she pumps that. Because she's of pumping it. Yeah. That it explains so much. Yeah, like, it like, makes sense. We had like normal turbulence on the way down, and then I start hearing her kids talking. I'm like, and she's like literally just swiping through she's all the crying. funny videos of the past month and all that kind of shit. It's wild. You're like, that's why your daughter has anxiety. Because <laughs> you have anxiety a ton, dude. <laughs> Yeah. It all makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, and then we got in at like 1 a.m. Because I will say, um, why does every pilot have the same voice? Oh, 100%. Why do they tune in and like, all right, everybody, if you look out your left here, we will see. It's just like that kind of shit. That was that was a good pilot, that, dude. I, I thought know, I was on a plane. For I don't a know who they're like. I think they're impersonating like Chuck Yeager or something like that. Who the fuck is Chuck Yeager? I think he broke, he's a famous pilot. I think he broke like a thing, like a Where barrier f- thing. Like yeah. he flew too fast or too, <laughs> too close fast. to the sun. Yep. But um, it was weird on our way out of, I think we went to like Dallas for our connecting flight, which sucks when you go it's further. Also so, it's also so weird when you do connecting flights where it's like, that's not even close. Yeah, I'm further. Yeah, I'm further yeah, from away. Ten, or from North Carolina, I went to Texas. De- Texas to, to Iowa. Iowa. What but, the hell? But like they were like backed up and he was like, if you look out to the right, you'll see about 20 planes and all of those are in line ahead of us. So it's going to be a minute. Like we were in a row of planes. Which oh, was, waiting to take off. It sucks when you're but on it's a plane weird to see that many planes doing shit. But it sucks when you're loaded into a plane and then it goes, um, we got some technical difficulties. Um, it's going to be a minute. <laughs> and then and then, they, and then they like it's like it's more than a minute. And then yep. they get on. Um, it seems like we need uh, to fuel up. It's going to be a minute. And then it's more than a minute. And it, it seems like we need to do this. And then, like, dude, and then you're on the tarmac for like an hour. <laughs> There's one. Where- like, it, that dude sitting on a plane not moving in the tight seats sucks. It's also funny because they don't rehearse what they're saying. No, they're just saying it. Yeah. Because there was one point. Because they you- always go, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. There was one point where he's like, 
oh, I'm trying to think of what the lead up to because it was like he was talking and then he stopped and he said something else and he's like, keep in mind we do everything here just to keep you all safe. And that was it. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> So he he beeped in to say that. Oh, it was like he was like, oh, I need to say one more thing. I was like, that was probably not enough. And why does that feel like you're on a plane when anyone does that? Just like, and here we go. Well, it's, we do the click noise. Yeah. Welcome that's to actually, the Moist Monday podcast. That's actually here. really fun. Everyone, put on your seatbelts and make sure your seats aren't back at all because if they're back even a little bit for some reason, we cannot take off. Like, why is that? Why can't you lean back at all before? <laughs> Make sure your phone is in airplane mode, because if not, the plane will explode. What actually happens, though? <laughs> I what don't happens know. I if my plane's in airplane mode? I, I think it interferes with her signals and sure. shit. I looked it up, because I, I wanted to make it like a Robert's actual phone fact no, sure. when, when, when I went to Colorado, but no. I was like, it's not, like, it, I think it just Sound interferes, yeah. but also, like, it doesn't sometimes. Yeah. If you look out the front window, you will see the second tower. <laughs> We're going to hit it. <laughs> also, I, I'm slowly realizing like there are a lot of people that are constantly thinking about 9-11, but there's so many people that aren't. Well, also, it was 22 years ago. <laughs> but I mean, Izzy went to a, like a, not a flea market, but a... Uh, well, also, did, does Izzy even know about 9-11? I mean, she's aware of it. But she but, wasn't alive? But there was like a, not a thrift market, it's like a... I can't even think of the name. The Brass Armadillo. Do you know that place? Oh, like a, yeah. What is that called? Antique. Uh, antique it's store. It's an antique in, store. Antique store. Like yeah, an yeah. antique mall where it's a bunch of little stuff. And one that of them. is awesome. One of them was the Des Moines Register of the 9-11 paper. And <laughs> I immediately went like, oh, I should get that for Robert. And he's like, why? And I'm like, so he, he won't forget. And like, it's just like. She he, doesn't get the bit. Not every. But like, I don't, why are we always thinking about it? Because that was the big event. I guess. Is we were six. Work? Of our kids, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> there, there. I bet there will be kids now that their bit will be COVID. That's fair, but that's but it's God, less was, of a joke. Yeah, because it was because it lasted so years. much longer. Yeah. This is. So, I mean, it, nine eleven is nine eleven is not a joke. No, it it's not. It was it's a horrible, a horrible tragedy. tragedy. But it is. I don't. I don't know why we think about <laughs> it constantly, but we do. Have you and ever seen? Have you ever seen the Big Sick? No, actually, I really want oh, to. Oh, okay. So that movie's incredible. I love Camille Nanjiani. It's about yeah. Kumail's uh, falling in love with his wife or meeting his wife or whatever. Because it's a true story. It's too, a true that story. She got crazy sick immediately. Um, yeah. Her name's Emily something. Emily something. Um, oh, and she's the best too. But it's it's this. There's a scene in that movie where he's at the hospital mm -hmm. eating dinner with her parents okay. that he doesn't know. Yeah. And he, one of the parents is Ray Romano. Oh. <laughs> which is hilarious. Sure. I love Ray Romano. <laughs> and Ray Romano in the scene goes, so, what do you think about 9-11? <laughs> because he's like Indian? Yeah. He's not Indian. He is from... Or Pakistan? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but he's like... <laughs> He's being like that white dude, yeah. just like, so are you pro or against? <laughs> and Kumail in the in this happens in the movie. Yeah. He goes, I mean, we lost a lot of good men that day. <laughs> <laughs> and the parents don't laugh. And he goes, I'm kidding. Because <laughs> does Kumail play himself? Like is his name Kumail? In yeah, it? Okay. and he's like a stand up comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they did like I think they met at one of his shows or something like that. Yeah, so she went to one of his shows and then they dated and then they broke up. Oh. And then she got sick. Yeah. And then he was like the last person that she had talked to. So like her roommate called and was like, hey, can you come help? So then, he, so then he just starts taking care of her, even though she's in a coma. For like a So while. then he falls in love with her. Interesting. Because he's, and then she wakes up from the coma and is like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> and it's like months. And he's like, I've been here. And she. And she has no idea. Sure, yeah. Yeah, it's a great movie. It's really sad. Yeah. But also, happy ending. Yeah, no, because they, they're they still married. Yeah, they're still great. Because I know a lot It's a of, great movie. I know a lot about them because they helped start my one of my other favorite podcasts, Harmontown. She's oh, really? the reason that exists. Damn, okay. Because um, she worked at the theater that, that, that Harmontown ended up being, and she like told the guy who is the lead, Dan Harmon, of like, hey, you should just come here and talk for an hour. People would come and listen. Oh, wow. And then Kumail started go coming on I as love a Kumail. guest. Yeah. Kumail started doing stand-up again. Good. Which is cool, because yeah, he, he like posted, so I follow him on funny. Instagram. He like hasn't done it in a long time, and he's like, I think his last special was Beta Male, which came out 
probably like a decade. I don't ago. think I've ever seen that. He maybe has done shit since. But like that's how he started. Yeah. Was like stand up, and now he's like a famous actor. Yeah. Now he's he's a Marvel fucking. Yeah. I mean, a movie that people don't talk about, it's but a pretty good movie, and he's great in it. He got fucking jacked. Yeah, it's weird. And also, like, I loved um, his statement when he got jacked. He was like, "I didn't want to be the nerdy like Indian guy." Or, yeah, yeah, whatever. But like, I think he probably said like nerdy Indian guy at a computer. Who like, I'm not the tech guy of the group. I'm yeah, a badass. I'm a jack. Yeah, he, dude. What's crazy and also, is he's maybe the best voice ever. He's so I love him. Yeah, because also he's in. Uh, Silicon Valley. Yep. Which is hilarious. Um, which his, is a nerdy Indian guy in a computer. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. But um, also, he, his voice on Adventure Time is probably my favorite thing he's oh, He's in Adventure Time? I yeah, didn't know um, that. He did, uh, fuck, I knew it before I actually said the sentence. Prismo. Okay. Yeah. Damn, I need, to watch it. I need to watch Adventure Time again. I mean, he has just the best voice. Dude, and what's, he is friends with uh, my, the Doughboys, the podcast oh, I that makes do. sense. So he came on recently and did an episode this is just a podcast about other podcasts now yeah it, it, so it's, it's a podcast of fast food but he came on and they talked to him about like what's it like being in shape and he goes it sucks yeah <laughs> like he's like this. you eat chicken breasts every day he's like and it that's sucks it. i miss eating shitty food <laughs> yeah i miss fucking having never fat but he was normal no but he's like i miss fucking having fun and enjoying mm. meals i love hearing um rob McElhenry, mackel whatever his name is oh the guy from it's always sunny yeah, yeah. where he got really fat and, and he then, got crazy ripped. And he's like, this sucks. Yeah. I, I think getting fat sucked too because um, I found out the way Hollywood people get fat on purpose is they literally just let ice cream melt and that is what they drink. Ugh. That's. I all- mean, it's it'd be good, but also no, you're but forcing like, it like, down. Yeah. No, you're like, like ugh, slugging like the down calories. The first sip of the first time would be good, but after that it would be horrible. You're just trying to pack on calories. Because yeah. it's Cause the he fastest got, like, way. He got just a gut. Yeah. <sighs> and then he got abs. Yeah. And he's... St- I mean, he's. I think he's normal now. He's normal now, but he's but still in fit. great shape. Yeah. I mean, same with his wife, Keelan Olson. Yeah, she's in shape. Um, but before we go, this episode might be a little bit longer. Um, Remember, I, we had a lot of dead air because I got a bloody nose right when we started. Yeah, he did. Um, <laughs> he did it. We we were about to record, and he just, just goes, "It's going to be a minute." Yep. <laughs> he got a bloody Boop. nose. Oh, that's bad. Uh, allergies, baby. But <laughs> that I putting a nail in my nose. <laughs> Only yeah. my right nostril bleeds. Oh wow! Because the other one's clogged. I no, I just they, this is definitely just where it would break. It's, it's yeah. where it's where the wound is. Yep. Um, this has been a busy week for me. <laughs> yeah, been Jacob's good. been out of town in Asheville, mm-hmm. and I went to two concerts, I saw that. which is wild because I love concerts, but I haven't been to any. Mm-hmm. But this is the week of the concerts, baby. I guess yeah, because I kept looking at your snapshot. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And both of these concerts, yeah. We're free. No, I didn't pay f- no for shit. any of that these tickets. First one. So the first concert I went to was a few days ago. It was at the new venue in uh, Waukee, yep. Iowa, that we've been to for Pierce the We talked about that yep. a few episodes, or not a long time ago, probably a few yeah. episodes ago. <laughs> um, so we went there, and Wes and I talked about going to this concert a long time ago. It was Stained, Seether, Saint Asonia, and then another opener. Saint Asonia is the old lead singer of Three Days Grace. Oh, okay. And they played Three Days Grace songs, really, which was badass. Sure, because I love Three Days Grace. Sure. And then Seether. What and is then Three St- Days Grace big song? Um, I hate everything about you. Ah. Uh, uh, or maybe uh, uh, pain without love. Or let's start a riot. Oh, that's them. I Damn. think that's them as well. Yeah, Ooh. they. they I mean, they were big. All these bands were big in the 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> They're all my least favorite so we genre were, of music. A few months ago, we were thinking about going to this show and we looked up tickets and they were like a hundred bucks. Jesus. And we were like, for general admission. Not worth and we it. were like, uh, not worth yeah. it. Yeah. So then Wes texts me the day before the show and he goes, hey, curveball for tomorrow. Because instead of doing like YouTube stuff, yeah. he was like, I might be getting free VIP Ooh. tickets to the Stain show would you want to go? Absolutely. I have four tickets. Fuck. And I was like, absolutely. Yeah. And so his company is trying to get in with the company of the venue mm. to do their lawn and landscaping. So oh, they was sure. like, this was like a wine and dine experience. Interesting. Um, My company's friends with that place because I built them arcade machines. Well, yeah, but not. Stain probably played on those. Yeah, but probably not as buddy buddy as the experience we get. No. Uh, so we got VIP tickets to this venue in. Uh, Waukee, Iowa, mm-hmm. which means like 
this it has a big general admission area, which is where we're for Pierce the Veil. Mm-hmm. But then there's a second floor yep. balcony area with other bars and seats. And we were front row of the seats on like stage left side. So I was like fucking I could see the stage and I could see the whole venue, the whole crowd. I'll insert video and photos here all for free. And then we had access to the red room. Oh, which was like a VIP area. Were there arcade games back there? There wasn't. Damn. Which which is like has access to a full menu of food. The fuck? Uh, that normal people only get like appetizers. Sure. You could order like full meal. It was it was fine. You still had to pay for it. Yeah. But then you had there was another bar in there with less of a line. No. Oh. Uh, and they had a full drink list. You know, you could is like six bars inside. No, of it. this place is loaded. Yeah. And then um. You had your own private bathroom. That's nice. So it was super nice. So I never had to wait to go to yeah. piss, you know, because this is a this is like a thousand person venue. Yeah. At those types of places, you have to wait to take a piss. Yeah. I didn't have to wait at all. I would just I just literally <laughs> flat. I wore like a red wristband and I just flashed it and walked in and boom, it was dope as hell. That's super nice. Yeah. Via, and front row with a chair. So like sometimes I was just sitting down I do and I was just sitting down for concerts. I'm getting now. I'm getting to that age where it's nice. I'm getting to that age where I was like I love this music. I mean for stained I stood the entire time because I was stand for stained because I was hammered. Sure. <laughs> but like for Seether and uh, for Saint Sonia, we d- we didn't see them, but in the red room they had the the oh, mix pumped through. That's nice. So we could still hear it. Yeah. So it was it was dope. Uh, I wish I would have saw them, but we could hear everything. And then it was just it was just so fun. But I was standing on the edge of the on the balcony, yeah. and I had that urge to, to jump to jump. <laughs> and that the concert was great, but that transitions into a. Robert's actual fun fact. Here we go. So, Robert's actual fun fact. This Monday is Le Pel du Vide. It's a French word. And it means the sudden urge to jump from a high place even when you're not suicidal. (laughs) (laughs) They had to put that in there. It is also known as the call of the void, which Jacob knew, or is known as high place phenomenon hpp oh but this doesn't also apply to heights though this can involve sudden urges like jerking the steering wheel into oncoming traffic yeah. which we've all had that i want to just hit a pole full speed i would just like hit a car yeah yeah sometimes i just want to do it yep. standing on a train or subway tracks or thinking of jumping in front of one sure yep Cutting yourself while holding a sharp object or knife. Sure, that's a I little get, bit more. I get if you're depressed and you want to do it, but sometimes when you when you sometimes when I pull a knife out of a block, I'm like, that's sharp. Like I don't want like more stab. Yeah, stab. Something very quick. Sticking your hand into a fire or a garbage disposal. Hmm. And then I also have this feeling when I'm around a table saw. Yes. Where I'm like, what if I just put my finger <clears throat> into it? Yeah. Yeah. So this feeling is very common and normal. That is nice to know. Scientists aren't 100% sure what causes this, but it could be a survival instinct when you're in dangerous situations. That you're just like considering all the options. Yeah, maybe? so like like if you're on a cliff, your instinct is to back up. Yeah. But it happens so quickly, you think and you assume it's your desire to jump. Like sure. your brain's just kind of short circuits. Sure, I can see but that. But sometimes you linger on the thought yeah and that's like that's when that's when you notice it it's not just like a passing thought you linger on it it is also a lot higher in people who have anxiety oh the higher your anxiety is the more likely you are the more likely you are to experience the pel du vide was that a fun fact that is a fun fact (laughs) about just wanting to just die kill it (laughs) die (laughs) but you're not suicidal right because i was like so (laughs) I drank a ton at that stay in concert. It's just a lot of like, eh, what would happen? Yeah. And, and so I was just like, I was holding on to the rail jamming and stuff. It was badass. Um, but I was, I like looked down at the crowd. And I was like, what if I just threw myself? Obviously it was only a floor. Yeah. So I wouldn't Still die. Some days. But I would like fucking people would freak out. Yeah. Everyone would, the band would stop. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> yeah you would, people would notice. Um, I do want to talk about though, this fucking stained yeah. Was incredible. Okay. So Stained, Stained is, was really big back in the day, obviously. And then Aaron Lewis, the lead singer, mm-hmm. left Stained, or didn't leave Stained, but he went and did his own solo thing. Okay. And it was a country. He went and did like country albums. 
Okay. And I discovered Aaron Lewis at my old carpentry job because my buddy was way into country okay. songs. So we played Aaron Lewis and I was like, oh, this is bad. It was like old school country. Sure. So not pop country, old school country, super fun. And he goes, yeah, you know who this is? And I go, no. And he goes, Aaron Lewis. And I go, who's that? And he goes, the lead singer of Stained. I think you've showed me it before. Yeah. yeah. Fucking good. So then he came back and they have a new album. Okay. And then I think they have a new single and it was badass. And But what's so cool about the entire show is he chain smoked cigarettes oh. inside the venue. Okay. Which I thought was so badass. Yeah. They probably had to pay like a fine for that. Yeah, probably. So every time he would like run out of a cigarette, he'd go back like in front of the drums and light another one. And here is the most badass thing though about okay. this. So he was chain smoking cigarettes. His voice sounded 100% identical to what it... Sure. Uh, I bet cigarettes does help that Exactly. Voice. I'm like, that's probably, how, that's probably how he has a voice. He played that song. But when he wasn't, like when he when he quit smoking and was singing, yeah. he took his cigarette and put it on his ear. Pretty cool. And it was just burning on his ear the entire set. So he'd light another cigarette, put it on his ear. That's weird. I feel like you're wasting so many cigarettes that that's way. That's fair, yeah. What? But dude, I was like, that's badass yeah that's pretty cool like that's like and he just did not give a fuck <laughs> obviously he, if people listen to his music and his country stuff he's very pro america very pro gun sure. very pro but i'm like that's badass yeah like that's and then they ended their set with mud shovel no idea uh the people that know that know that's a in the best stain song ever that's how they ended their set fucking incredible i say the name stained yeah. and it's spelled gross too yeah S T A N. S T A I N D. Like it, stained. <laughs> stained. <laughs> but it's very 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. You know? uh, really my least favorite music. So that was incredible. <laughs> and then two days later, yeah. I'm still wearing the wristband. Another free concert. One of my friends texted me and was like, hey, are you busy Thursday? And I was like, uh, no, I'm not. What, yeah. What's up? And they were like, do you want to go to Portugal the Man? Which, Big band. Yeah, good band. D- at a different venue near my house and i was like absolutely dude it was awesome <laughs> the opener was like this hispanic performer and all of her songs were in spanish oh uh reina tropical was her name okay uh, she was she was very good she was just a solo performer she had like a pad where she like did like drum beats and shit and yeah. she played guitar <laughs> very i will say she was very sexual oh sure very sexual but all of her it was all in spanish so who knows so i was like i like this but yeah. i don't know what you're saying sexual language but then portugal the man i bet they are pretty great holy i didn't realize how so obviously i know of them yeah and then like they're i know they're big songs uh, yeah i know they're hits dude they're very psychedelic oh like so we saw portugal the man at the same venue that we saw beach house at like a few yes. years ago okay so at this like kind of like uh weird old school venue the opener did make me think of the beach house opener where he's like why aren't you guys liking this yes it was very similar <laughs> yeah. to that but portugal a man reminded me of beach house so much but they felt more pop it was more rock okay. and fast paced but very similar to beach house okay because into that. they were silhouetted the entire time hell yeah silhouetted the entire time mostly color visuals a lot of sounds and then they're they shifted tempos and music okay. and all their songs went into each other and they barely talked to the crowd oh like dude it was dope as hell and it was just vibe music and i was like that's not what i thought of portugal the man yeah i might have to look into their actual like albums not like just i was hits. like it was like they they were just like in for the music and they had like six or seven people on stage all the time okay. there's like a trumpet guy that came on they were like there was like two singers with like shakers it, it dude it was I was like, this is dope as hell. Okay. I didn't know a lot of the songs, but sure. I was like, this is vibing. And then it just like kept like they do these weird shifts and then it would shift into another song. I was like, mm. this is I love I was like, I love live music. <laughs> Cause I had like an awesome rock show. Yeah. With Stained and Seether. Which are with a Seether and Stained sounded a hundred percent like they do I believe on that. the albums. Which is wild because they've been performing for yeah. twenty five years, and thirty they've years. They've been going hard that yeah. whole time. And then Portugal the Man, the songs I did know sounded exactly like them. Hmm. Okay. And it was, I was like, I, I want to go to shows. Yeah, that's fair. And it also made me miss playing music. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But God, concerts are <laughs> fun, dude. And especially with, concerts are expensive. Yeah. So that's why I don't go to them as often. But, but like, free concerts. I luckily, I don't know how I got two free concerts yeah, in a week that weren't planned the week before. That is wild. Like they, I literally got. 
Text Monday, went to the show Tuesday. Text Tuesday, went to the show Thursday. Like it was like, hey, what are you doing? Let's go, dude. Nothing. And I was like, this is. I want to go to more shows. Like, yeah. I want to go to more local shows. I, I just want to. When music's good, even if you don't it's know so the great. songs, yeah, you can just tell. Like, it Feel uses it. vibe. It's yeah. fucking. It's dope, dude. Do you know what else is a vibe? What? The Moist Monday. The Moist podcast. Monday podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, you guys are vibing to this. On this moist of Mondays. Vibe into our stories. And if so, email us at moistmondaypodcast at gmail.com. Ooh. I know, I did it, right? Send us an email. Or follow us on social media, Instagram, threads, TikTok, <laughs> Twitter. Really? I made us a Twitter. An X. An X. Uh, I think that's it. Subscribe to us on YouTube, Moist Monday Podcast. Um, Rate us five stars on Spotify, and I think Apple and Apple re- Music. We should be on Apple Music now. I heard that's a big thing on Apple Music. Rate us well on Apple Music. Even if I you don't listen, know anything about Apple Music. You listen on YouTube or Spotify, but you still have Apple Music. Also, give us a subscription and a like and a thumbs up the video. Yeah, on all that YouTube. shit. Yeah, we appreciate you listening. Hope you're a fantastic May. Uh, we love you. We love you. And guess what? I love you, Jacob. I love you too, Robert. Oh, don't say my name. (laughs) (laughs) Bye, everybody. Dry bones, lazy bones, big bones, dance around in your bones.